Second subject, House Bill 1896. Message from the Senate. Clerk will read. Thank you. Additional remarks. The good gentleman from the 13th, Represent Van Willer. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I, too, rise in enthusiastic support of this bill. Um, I think that this has been a long time coming. Uh, I think it's incredibly important that we add this to our curriculum. Madam Speaker, my first civics class was given to me in Milton Freewater, Oregon, uh, when I was a student teacher at Whitman College. And I have had a civics class to teach every year uh, for the last 27 years. Uh, it goes fast. Um, and I can't tell you how important it is that students understand this material. I think sometimes, Madam Speaker, in the world of politics, the pendulum swings and it never really finds the middle. We always kind of overswing. And for decades, we focused so much on STEM um, that we maybe neglected the arts and creativity and the social studies, which go to the notion of a holistic education that we are to do more than just simply teach skills to get a job, but to teach skills to make you a good citizen. The Greeks referred to this as civic virtue or civic public virtue, and I think this bill brings it back. Madam Speaker, in a lot of cases, we have bills that are a solution in search of a problem, and that is not the case, because this is a serious problem. I no longer teach high school civics, but I do spend a lot of time on university campuses, and our understanding of basic civics is not what it used to be. We have a disconcerting lack of understanding about the importance of things like the freedom of speech, freedom of association, freedom of the press, due process, the things that have been the fundamental bedrocks of our civic public virtue. And Madam Speaker, we don't have to look too far, maybe our own backyard, literally our own backyard, when we revisit some of the disturbing events at Evergreen State College, where there was almost a pride in civic ignorance with respect to freedom of speech and press and due process and respecting the views of others. And we have to remember, those students were not students from out of state. Those were our students. They came through our K-12 system, and therefore we have to take some responsibility for what happened there. And I think this is a first step in affirming to our kids uh, throughout high school that there are certain fundamental rights that you all have and that whether you choose in your life to go all the way to the state legislature or simply remain a voter, that good civic virtue means that you know what those rights are and that you defend those rights and that most importantly, Madam Speaker, you defend those rights when other people are exercising them, that you don't just defend those rights when you are exercising them. That's what makes us Americans. That's what makes our Constitution a little different. And if we fail to teach the next generation, then we fail to preserve those values that are so important to who we are. Please vote yes for this. The speaker has opened the roll call machine. Has every member voted? Would any member like to change their vote? The speaker's about to lock the roll call machine. Representative Holy. The speaker has locked the roll call machine. Clerk will take the record. Madam Speaker, there are 95 yeas, three nays, zero excused. Have received a constitution majority. Second substitute House Bill 1896 as amended by the Senate is declared passed. <laughs>